Tresco, an island paradise, with a resident population of just 175 and a garden that boasts some of the world's most exotic species. Now there's to be a new arrival. The red squirrel is coming to stay. A lot of people who are in the know have said that this is the right sort of place for them. They can thrive. Our own trees from California um, have cones on them that the squirrels actually like, and we have, we're plentiful in supply. You're going to sit there and eat it? Yeah, sir. Until now, this has been the squirrel's home, the British Wildlife Centre in Surrey, which runs the UK's biggest red squirrel breeding programme. You have to be very, very careful with red squirrels because they are prone to stress. So they can die of heart failure and we don't want any of that to happen. There we are. You're going to take that? You're going to just sit there on my hand and... Oh, what are you going to do? Go in. Oh, goodbye. It's the day of the collection and everyone's busy preparing the squirrels' travel boxes. They've got the whole staff out looking after us. They've um, filled them with... Um, bedding, they put food in, and apparently that's going to be fine. We're going to cover them with a blanket as we drive because the, they'll snuggle down for the night, and then hopefully tomorrow we'll be coming over to Tresco with them. With the squirrels safely boxed up, they start their 350 mile drive to Cornwall. Next, they've got to get them across the sea. Help is at hand from the Navy. They're helicoptering them to Tresco as part of a training exercise. Thirty minutes later, and they touch down safely on Tresco. At this point, they've been in those boxes for a day and a half. So no time is wasted in transporting them to their new home in the garden itself. Thank you. Certainly the finishing touch to our squirrel cage now, actual squirrels. But will they come out? The honour of opening the cage falls to Lucy Dorian Smith, whose family have been on Tresco for generations. It's been a great journey and I think we're really looking forward to now the next year or two to see how they breed and how they get on. Oh look at that, isn't that great? Whizzing down the path, I'm out. Only time will tell if the project's been a success, but the hope is that Tresco will offer these creatures a valuable sanctuary in their fight for survival. Sam Smith, BBC News.